So hello, so today I'm actually gonna be talking about this whole baby formula shortage that has happened. I'm sure if you guys have gone to your local, you know, Walmart, Kruger, you know, Costco, Sam's Club, I'm sure you have seen plenty of shelves empty or it now currently would say like limit two. I just went to Stow earlier today and it will say limit two, you know? Uh, so you may think, well, how did this all happen? So what you had was, well, first, let me just, let me get into this. America is so twisted in the way that we do things. You have this whole thing, oh, well, you can't have an abortion. You got to have a kid, you got to have a kid. But then, oh man, we ain't going to help you feed this kid. Oopsie, oopsie daisy. You know, I have an article here that I am going to read little snippets of, and then I'm going to um, get my thoughts on it as we go. So it says, the reason for the baby, uh, baby formula shortage. Corporate monopolies, poor quality control, and federal regulation are the main things, okay? Just three companies control the entire infant formula market in the US. Just three, okay? So there's some crazy contamination, you know, crazy regulation, that's what ends up happening. They have to dump out a whole bunch of their formula. And then now people are like, oh, where am I gonna get the formula from? And then America, they make it hard. It, I actually read it's quote unquote illegal for you to even get formula shipped from another country. So they don't want you having their stuff. Meanwhile, there's more than three more than three companies for the rest of the world. Okay. So they don't want you getting their stuff. You, I want you to get my stuff, but you know, we ain't really doing it that well right now. So, I mean, you're out of luck. Your kid's out of luck. It looks like little Tommy's going to go hungry. And it says, um, and half of all the formula sold in the U.S. gets to families through the federal special, uh, special supplemental nutrition program for women, infants, and children, which is WIC. You know, that's obviously for when you're low income and stuff like that. Um, that's what that stuff is for. Uh, but it says, by, uh, but the way the WIC lays out the actual um, contraction, uh, the USDA gives the money to each state and then each state chooses one of the manufacturers to give them. So essentially how WIC works is, and pretty much what I just said. Uh, so you get WIC, WIC is like, you know, it's like this piece of paper, you have a card or whatever, and they tell you what you can get. You can only get Infamil, you know, 2X or whatever, the, whatever it's called, Infamil Gold, whatever. You can only get this and you can only get X amount of it. Okay, so they're not saying, oh, well, you get, you know, whatever the other brand is. No, you can only get this one. And it says, oh, and half of the formula sold goes through that. Okay, so you can only get this certain kind. You can't get anything else, we ain't paying for it. Okay, we're going to get this. And if you have, you know, millions of people only getting that one kind, and then once that manufacturer shuts down, you know, obviously contamination, whatever the case may be, now where you can get your stuff from because if you were getting it paid for with this but now you can't you know so that's what it is uh you know and it says it means that every retailer in the state is basically going to carry only one brand that's what that is because half of the consumers aren't able to look at any other manufacturer items because whatever is on that piece of paper is what it is okay so if it says infamil gold that's all you can get you know, so yes, most stores are not going to carry multiple, multiple, multiple brands because you can't do that. You know, I mean, they know that their their uh, customers aren't going to be getting that because they can't because that's not what you're able to get on from this piece of paper. All right. So it says, so what are the components of this? There's a couple of components. But this is basically a monopoly problem. And when you look at shortages in almost every instance, it usually it's usually because you have one or two or three suppliers of some vital good. That's what it is, okay? And oh, one of the factories, often they're regulated. Uh, they're not taking care, uh, they're not taking care of the factory. Then it goes out and gets shut down and boom, there's a shortage, which is exactly what happened. That's why we have this going on, you know? So now we're looking at it and it's like, okay, well, we don't have baby for them. What are we going to do? What are we going to do with the kids? Now you have people who are making like their own kind of like DIY um, kind of formulas that the people, you know, 
FDA and whatnot. They're like, oh, you can't do that. And, and people are like, well, what are my kids, what are they supposed to do? You know, the two months old, what, I can't feed them grapes. So what am I supposed to give them if I can't give them this? They're supposed to have all the nutrients. Like, they ain't going to get it from a grape. I can't feed them a banana. So what's going to happen? Well, your kids going to have to starve until we get the system back up. We ain't doing that. So yes, you do have people who are doing DIY things. They're doing like goat milk and some other things that are going on. Um, but Biden, you know, finally did something worth a damn. Um, has, you know, issued, you know, a state of emergency for it. And they got a whole bunch of formula imported. Okay. They got it from like, you know, Europe, you know, European countries and whatnot. Germany is one of them. Um, and I do have a article for it and I'm gonna make sure I put it up here as well. And it says baby formula delivery arrives to the U S from, uh, um, from Germany. And it says enough specialty infant, infant formula for more than half a million baby bottles arrived Sunday in Indianapolis. The formula weighing 78,000 pounds was being transported by military plane. White House uh, press secretary said, all right. And it said it is the first of several flights carrying infant formula from Europe expected this weekend to relieve the shortage. Now, this is the problem that we have. Why? What? We're so consumed with money that you're like, well, we'll allow them kids to die if, if we can only make sure that these companies, all this extra lobbying, you know, that's how they got where they're, all, where they're at right now. So you have all these extra lobbying um, that's going on to make so that we are a monopoly. We only have three companies and that's it. One shuts down. Oh man, we're screwed. Oops. Oopsie daisy. And we're going to make sure that it's hard for you, a regular Joe with a kid, to go and, you know, get, you know, you know, formula from overseas, from Germany, from wherever it is that you're getting it from. They're going to make it hard because then they say, oh, well, they don't meet our, our FDA regulations and, you know, da, da, da. But you also look, a lot of these European countries that we have, they, there's a lot of um, certain uh, chemicals, certain ingredients rather, that are banned that they, they use over there. I mean, they don't use over there, but we use over here. I'm not necessarily saying that's what's in there, but we do have a lot of things here that we're free to give to anybody. And, you know, you also wonder how you got a whole bunch of heart disease, a whole bunch of cancers, a whole bunch of other things that are happening. Bad environment, you're getting sick, you're getting these chronic, um, you know, pains, you're getting all this crazy stuff. You're like, man, how has this stuff been happening? Well, we're using stuff that really, it should have been banned. A lot of these other countries ban a lot of this stuff. You know, I was reading that um, you actually have, you know, women who, you know, they started looking at this stuff and they're like, yo, what's going on, y'all? You know, so they're looking at this and they're like, these ingredients, you know, they make it much easier in Europe to, you know, to feed a kid. It's one scoop and the scoop has everything that it needs to have. This one always, you got to do two scoops. You may be di diluting it, you know, you may not different kinds of ingredients that are going on as well. And you may think, you know, well, you know, they got banned ingredients, you know, or they got other ingredients that we don't use or da da da. We use certain things that they don't. And you know, that means our stuff is better. So you're telling me Europe, all of Europe, which is huge. Okay. You're telling me all those people have some kind of malnutrition to this day from when they were a little, no. The stuff works. It's just corporate greed, all the extra lobbying that goes on to make it so that you have to buy our stuff or your kid dies. Which one are you going to do? That's why we're going to make it hard for you to get it from oh. Europe and whatnot. Oh, it doesn't meet FDA re regulation. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, but ma'am, we're in a state of emergency. Ugh. Okay, well, let's get that stuff. But I thought it doesn't meet FDA regulation. How come we're allowed to get it now? Because it probably did meet FDA regulation and you guys just didn't want that shit over here. That's the problem that we have, you know? And I was even reading, um, they were saying that four companies control about 90% of the U.S. infant formula industry, okay? But three of the main ones that control it, but, you know, it is four countries that have 90% 
of it. All right, so you got Abbott Nutrition, Abbott Labs, okay? You got Mead Johnson uh, Nutrition. You got Nestle USA, which those are the people that make, you know, what is it, the hot chocolate and, all, and the water and all the extra stuff too. And you got Pario Company. And I'm assuming that's the last one that owns, you know, smaller amount of what the other ones are. And that is the problem. I also want to bring up as well, says the U.S. doesn't import a lot of baby formula. All right. So this is the reasoning. This is pretty much what I just said, but I'm going to read it to you. It says the FDA has strict norms on baby formula imports. While prior approval isn't necessary, the products need to be manufactured at an FDA approved facility and the agency has to be told before the import. The FDA has strict norms for baby formula content and labeling. There have been instances, mind you, let me read that. The FDA has strict norms for baby formula content and labeling. There have been instances where the imported formula had to be recalled due to labeling, even though the content was fine. I.e., we're just going to make it extremely hard and say, oh, it was, you know, you didn't put a P right next to that one. So, I mean, just go throw everything out. Really? It had to be recalled. Oh, you, you know, we just, we, we can't have that over here. You know, I was reading another thing. They were like, oh, temperature and the, yeah, come on, y'all. Y'all just don't want other people to compete with you. That's the whole point of a, a monopoly. You don't want anyone else competing with you. You want to have the whole market. You know, so they're going to make up, oh, well, they weren't at an FDA approved site. Okay, well, now they are. Well, you know, your labeling isn't. It's not up to par with what it is that I want you to have. So I guess, oh, we may just have to just dump it out. What? You know, and this is, this is another reason why I don't like America. I truly dislike it. What are you getting here? Think about it. Really take a moment to think about it. What are you seriously getting in America? What? Oh, we're free. Are you? Are you? Not really. What? You're, you're expected to be gunned down. That, as, as we've seen. They're going to force you to have a kid that you probably don't even want. And then, after you have it, they're going to say, Oh, yeah, um, I don't know how you're going to feed that kid unless you breastfeed. Uh, you're, you're out of luck. You know? And with all the, the crazy vaccines that are going on... You know, with the different nutrition that's going on, you know, all this GMO stuff like that. No wonder a lot of women are having problems breastfeeding. Are you kidding me? Because you had to think before, okay, well, it couldn't have been that bad. You know, people have wet nurses, not as much, but they are having them as well. But the thing about it is this. It's like our environment is what is really destroying our water, our food, all that. So, yeah, I, it doesn't surprise me that a lot of women are having difficulties with breastfeeding. So, the other alternative is, let me get the powdered milk. And then you're like, well, we ain't got that. Ooh, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I know we didn't. We weren't going to give you, you know, $1,000, $2,000 a month either, you know, for X amount of months during COVID. I mean, that's on y'all, yo. I mean, if you're not a millionaire and billionaire like me, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. And that's pretty much what's happening. Not pretty much. That is what's happening. And they could give two shits about you, you know. So that's what's happening. You know, it's upsetting that we have this baby formula shortage, you know, and people... Another thing that people were trying to blame it on was like, oh, well, you know, people were hoarding it. And no, it's because the company, y'all, y'all weren't following regulation and y'all had like some crazy, it was some contamination that they had that could have, you know, been like a lethal thing. So that's why they had to, you know, pretty much dump all the shit that they had and stop production for it. But other people, you know, they want to blame it on, well, y'all hoarding. Well, y'all supposed to have all the stuff here anyways. Okay, if we're going to be real and people weren't doing that. So that's what's going on. Um, but it's upsetting. Hopefully, whoever has kids who happens to be watching the video, hopefully you did get some kind of formula. 
you know, to last you for a bit. Um, because I mean, I, I looked earlier today uh, when I went to the store and there was some, but you know, like I said, it's that limit too, you know, so I don't know if, if maybe you got to go here, limit two, go to another store, limit two, go to another store, limit two, you know, just to make sure you have something. Cause you know, other people, they're going to be doing the same exact thing, you know? So at the end of the day, you got to make sure your kid has something, you know, um, it, I'm happy you guys are now, you know, importing from another country, but, uh, it's a little too late. You should have done that already. Once you've seen that it got bad, you're going to wait until people have to drive hundreds of miles just to try to find some formula some food girl bye um but those are my opinions on it those are my thoughts and until then